so this was the first one all closed up and I'll, I really wasn't letting it out here there's, there's, there's this, the stitching here and here but it's not very energetic but that's the first one and the, the white stitching is, is reiterated here in the white paint here is reiterated with my white marks a bit more violent than the, the marks there in the black we're moving on and quite defaced here with the holes. Female, pink, trying hard. That is actually a hole and it's got the wool in it. And I hurt my shoulder and he, and he just said, this won't, that won't stop you going to New York. So I came home and I did this one. I was so excited. I was going to New York. So that's that's the reaction I had from going to New York. It's all brightly coloured, all stitched up neatly, not too wild, neatly stitched up. The art was everywhere and there were lights and colour and and when I was a child the teacher said you don't do rain like that. Just I did a whole page of rain just like this but after I went to New York I was going to do my rain and it was going to be all colours so my rain now is all colours and I've done a whole page of rain and no teacher saying you don't do rain like that because I have and look at, look at the sparkle of the lights in New York the life in New York the positiveness in New York and also look, look at these bumps everywhere like we've got. We've all got these bumps and lumps. 70,000 people, 70,000 Americans sitting on the green lawn and the orchestra was there and the fireworks went up. So that's how I talked about this one. I've covered up nearly all the stitching here. And I've just called it here Central Park Fireworks. And it's really sparkly, this one. With all the fireworks when they go up. Here, yeah, they go up and then they open out. This one's wild with excitement. Somebody made me happy, I guess. But that's how I was very wild with excitement. So it comes and goes. Go, this, this, this pain that I have inside me comes and goes. You know, I was happy here, and then it, the next one I did was called Torn Apart. That related to me. It's all torn, all stitched up. It's all very stitched up. These words too, you yeah. know, a hoggot's not a lamb. I got a, an email from an art gallery uh, who said there was this competition in, in York and so I had the courage to send this one to York and the first, second one that I did. And um, that's why it's going in the magazine, Clutha Downs. But I didn't call it Clutha Downs because I thought it was more... The gashes in this, this one, was they were quite extreme. But look at all these little holes. Mm -hmm. In an exhibition at the, at the Egg and Tie and... Uh, there was a blue light box there and so that inspired me to make this painting a blue light bag with the blue and the light coming through. This one here talks about um, New Zealand, I did that the night before this one, 
and I put the, the land of the long white cloud. Here's the clouds here coming down and the sea fog coming up so you can see this white haze. Still the scars and the holes, still there, and the label. This one I've made a bit brighter, the label. But this was exciting because I found this label and had a kiwi on it. So that one's called kiwi.